This is the trip that we take down to Disney World every year with the most special kids on Earth. Uh, kids that have chronic and terminal illnesses, and we hang out for five days. We do it right also. This morning I have all the Burt's Big Adventure families uh, write and read a letter to their Burt's Big Adventure child or kind of give us some insights on the trip. So this week has, so this week has brought things back into perspective for me. I could have all the money in the world, but if I don't take time to just play with my kids, what would the point be? Well, God had a different plan. Obviously, he thought we had too, way too much time on our hands, so he gave us you. We could not, we could not be more blessed. The way you handle having hemophilia amazes me and makes me so proud to be your mom. Isabella, you are truly the most amazing person I've ever had the privilege of knowing. You've always been so smart, so funny, and a joy to all those around you, and you never let cancer get in the way of that. In fact, I feel that through your diagnosis and the tough road of treatment behind us, you blossomed and not only fought through it, but embraced it and used your platform to educate others and help other fighters and their families. Yes, there may be moments when you and your brothers may drive me crazy, but there's nothing that could ever change how I feel about you and your brothers. I'm so proud of you, Gabriel. The strength you have shown me over the past couple of years battling leukemia has made me realize that you are just as brave as a soldier going to war and just as brave as a fireman fighting fires every now and then. You don't even know how it broke my heart to hold you down time and time again while the nurses tried to find a good vein in that tiny little arm of yours or to look at that scar on your chest from your port. It was so hard to watch you hurt through the bone marrow biopsies or the hundreds of spinal taps, sedations, and chemotherapy drugs that were so strong the nurses had to suit up just to handle the needles, but those same drugs were being pumped directly into your veins. Never give up the good fight and remember that we are with you every step of the way. We love you more than you will ever know and you will always be our little hero. I love you. I couldn't be more proud of the young lady you've become, and I look forward to seeing all that God has in store for your future. Lily, I love you so much, and I'm so blessed to have you as my daughter. You are so, you are my inspiration and my purpose in life. Thank you for being the perfect you. It is truly my honor for you to call me dad. I love you. I know we still have lots of chemotherapy and many spinal taps in our future, but your strength amazes me, and I know that one day we will be looking at this from the other side. I love you to the moon and back. And because of Bert, Stacy, and all of the other amazing people here, you know love, you know family, you know friendship, you know fun, and you know magic. And that's all you really need to know. Everything happens for a reason, like everything. And uh, there's people listening to this right now that are having a tough day or a tough whatever situation. And uh, if these families and these kids can endure what they're enduring on a regular basis, on a day, on an hourly basis, having to endure something, you're going to get through whatever it is that you're dealing with. And you just need to remember there's a reason for it. 